Chad, I got a debut for you. Um, uh, my my daughter's favorite joke. Let me just make sure I got my screen region set up here. So my my daughter's been watching a ton of Peppa Pig. That's like her favorite show in the world. I, I got sucked into the Peppa Pig universe a little bit today myself. Daddy Pig jumped out of an airplane without a parachute. The show's really jumped the shark a little bit. Like, I, I, the average Peppa Pig episode season one, season two is literally like, um, Daddy Pig forgot to do the dishes. And, and the drama that ensues as a result of that. Peppa Pig episode, uh, or season seven and beyond is like, Daddy Pig acquires all five Infinity Stones and uses it to wipe out all the Miss Rabbits in town. Like, it's, it's crazy. Um, but either way, the new bit that my daughter says is every time Daddy Pig shows up on the screen, she laughs and says, Looks like Ryan. Looks like Ryan. And like, I, I don't mean like occasionally she says it. I mean, literally every time the guy is on screen, she says it. And she says, like, he's on the screen 10 times an episode. I don't know if you've ever seen what Daddy Pig looks like. His body is a perfect snowball, for one. Um, with, with like four toothpicks sticking out of it. Like, he, his, his body is a little bit disproportional. He's got a head shaped like a crossing guard's whistle. And, like, the worst comic book guy beard of all time. And every time he shows up on screen, she says, Looks like Ryan. Looks like Ryan. I, wanted, I want you to know that when I was thinking about doing this bit... I was like, this is basically chat's ultimate opportunity to say, OMG, he does. And I respect that. I'm, I'm not going to lean away from that. It's the perfect opportunity for them to lean into it. They do also fat shame Daddy Pig all the time. Daddy Pig goes to the freaking carnival and he's going to do like the strength game where you hit the thing with the hammer and it goes... Bleh! And then the, the carny goes like, Oh, Daddy Pig, I don't know if you could do it because you look like you got a big freaking belly. And then Mommy Pig goes like, excuse me. And then she's so mad that her husband has been insulted that she hits the hammer so hard. It goes like ding, 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 ding. And then she collects, she wins like eight grand prizes from just one swing. Girl boss, girl boss. Anyway, so that's, that's what I'm dealing with right now. And you know what? The, and, and I have to be quiet so my wife doesn't hear this. I have wondered where she got the expression, looks like Ryan. Because she knows my name. I don't know if other people know this. If you don't have kids, it's not like in the kid handbook. But it's suggested that when your kids learn to talk, you teach them your names, like the names of the parents. So if they ever get lost, they have to talk to somebody and they go, oh, who are your parents? They don't just go mommy and daddy because they're going to be like, I don't know who mommy and daddy. That's like a relative term. So at, at least they have some objective, you know, abstract nomenclature. But anyway, I feel like if she came up with it, she would say like, you know, Looks like daddy. Looks like daddy. But instead, every time she says it, she says, looks like Ryan. So I'm wondering if maybe that this is a joke that came from mommy filtered through baby. And she does. She loves it. She she can't get enough of it. Anyway, it is cute, though. Looks like Ryan. Looks like Ryan. Gets me every time, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna be presentable. I'm gonna wear a collared shirt. I almost died this week. I can do whatever the hell I want. Many people are saying you look like Daddy Pig. Excuse me? Are you talking about this guy right here? Looks like Ryan. Looks like Ryan. He's got a body like a damn tennis ball and a head like a gym teacher's whistle. 
Legs and arms are the are uncooked spaghetti noodles? Come on. OMG, he does. OMG, shut up. I only bear a passing aesthetic similarity to Daddy Pig. I'm not Daddy P Dude, people were... I was like 12 pounds down, looking gaunt as hell, looking like Christian Bale in The Damn Machinist. Daddy Pig comes on the damn screen. My kid's like, looks like Ryan, looks like Ryan. Like, she's actually taunting me. Like, I wish. I wish I had the, the corpulence of Father Porcine right now, but I don't, okay? I'm not, I'm not actually capturing any of the nutrients that I'm eating. It felt like a, oh, I got hit twice there already. It's insulting, man. It felt like a cruel joke, honestly. Just give Daddy Pig the headphones. Congratulations, you've just made the top subreddit post of the, of the weekend. This is your Dolly generated subreddit post. Title, 99.9% .9 confidence. OMG, he does, lull. Picture, Daddy Pig from popular British children's television program, Peppa Pig, wearing Sennheiser HD 950s or whatever the fuck these are. Yeah, I can tell they're watching Peppa Pig out there. I, I heard looks like Ryan. Looks like Ryan, you know who just walked out on the screen. This guy right here. Probably Daddy P Daddy Pig walked out and was like, does anybody need any help with something? And then Daddy Daddy Pig bumped into something. This, so this every episode, Daddy, Daddy Pig is like, I'm going to the grocery store. Does anyone need anything? And they're like, get out of here, you fat piece of crap. Daddy Pig, we don't respect you. Even though you have a great job as an architect, Providing so we can live in the only house on this outrageously large hill. You sack of crap, get out of here. No, they're like, mostly they're kind of like, they're pretty okay with Daddy Pig, but I can't help but feel like he is a little emasculated throughout the show. Like, they, they never show him having sexual intercourse with his wife till her moment of climax, which I think is just something that I would love it if they could do. No, it doesn't have to, you could make that episode rated R, and that would be fine. But like, I just think for me, that would help me kind of understand that like, oh, they banter with Daddy Pig, but actually like, he's kind of like a boss where it counts. But instead, <laughs> he's just constantly being like, patronized and condescended to. We don't even know what kind of schmeat he's packing down there. Because the little teases that make the show won't tell us. So I'm like, I don't know. I, I gotta use my imagination. <laughs> it's the funniest bits. People are like, what? Are, uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. What are you talking about? Get over yourself. Go back to the, com the 15 second long comedy special where they just say, like, we don't like Joe Manchin. Hey, yo, we don't like Joe Manchin. This special... It was dedicated to the brave fighters of the Mujahideen. <laughs> I don't know why that always pops into my head. The, the, the Rambo, Rambo 2 uh, dedication at the start of the movie. Oh, man. Oh. That is some of the funniest shit that's ever existed. Hold on, what's the spirit art doing back here? Oh, Can you show Daddy Pig again? Yes. ONG, he does. <laughs> I wish I looked like that, man. I could use, like I said, I could use the corpulence right now. Two camera angles, nice streaming setup. Nice joke, I, it's really funny. Toss some Sennheisers on him. He's good to go. I'm right now. You you look at Daddy Pig, and you're like, okay, what is this guy's probably like a middle manager in an office. So here's what you're gonna do, okay? You're gonna put him in a a basketball jersey tank top. You're gonna put him in oversized streetwear pants. The glasses can actually stay stay as the circles. I think that would be fine. 
you're also going to provide him with some uh, with some ice, okay? So you're going to give him, like, maybe a, a gold thick link chain. And then you're going to put Sennheiser 660s on his ears. Instantly, you would be like, it's one of YouTube Live's top streamers. That's somebody on YouTube Live who gets 85,000 concurrent viewers and has 900 paying members. Without a doubt. It would, it would be one of those streamers who posts things like, In Vegas! 40,000 likes instantly. In Vegas for UFC this weekend, any mutuals around? Replies. Fell off, fell off, you fell off, ratio, you fell off, you fell off, you fell off, don't ask, don't, didn't care, plus you fell off, ratio, ratio. I was not speaking about Aiden Ross.